guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you a wee fry called the Irishman's Claret. Now the hook in the face is a Camazon B175 and says 8. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the Uni Thread 80 in black. So we'll just come in and get the thread started. And we're just going to splice on a bit of thread here. Just down until we're past the, the point of the hook. Then remove the waist tag. The tail is tippet fibers, and this has been dyed um, what they like to call a, a solar flare. I, I just call it a, a hot orange. So you're looking at a, a hot orange or orange dyed tippet. I just want this to be roughly the length of the body over the back. Take a couple of turns just to catch in your tippet. Now the tie, the sorry, the rib <laughs> is an oval gold tinsel. And this is an oval gold in size 14. So I'm just gonna run our thread up, tying on our tail and our rib. Nice and tight. Bring our thread back there and open turns. The body's gonna be dubbed. Now the dubbing that I'm using, this is the, the traditional Irish dubbing and this is the, the dark, you're looking at dark claret dubbing or seals for, for this wee pattern. Now, just take your seals, your, dub, your dubbing, in this case the traditional Irish dubbing and just always the one direction, index finger and thumb. Just spin her on there. And then we'll just slide that up. Then we'll get her started. And once you sort of way anchored on the hook, you can tighten up. And when you're doubling the whole way up, now sweep everything back and bring your thread in front. Now just leave yourself a bit of room because you have a wing and a front tackle on this. Now the body hackle that I'm going to use. This is a bodger that I have dyed claret. So if you just just use a straight through um, claret haggle if you have it. I'm just removing the rubbish at the bottom, stripping some of the fibers away to bear the stem. Just catch this in nice and tight. Come in and trim away the stem and then we're going to get two turns going at the front, just going to palmer this down the body. Just get a couple of turns going at the shoulder of the fly. And then I'm looking four turns of the haggle down the body. Now keep the hold of your tip. And just follow this around with your oval gold tinsel. And you're looking four turns of the oval gold tinsel up the body. Sweep everything back, bring your oval gold up in front and follow this around with your thread. Nice and tight. Come in and trim away your oval gold tinsel. Remove your tip at the back. Just holding everything back now at this point. I'm just going to work my thread back up. Just tight against the, the body haggle. Now I'm just going to come in with my Velcro. Brush some of the, the fibers out that I may have caught. And also, what I'm doing here is, is just flattening this for the wing, for the mallard wing. So, we're looking at mallard. This is a, a large feather. So I'm just going to take away the rubbish at the bottom. Spring your fibers out from the stem. And then just come in and rip that away. And then all we're going to do is just fold this over a couple of times to give us a wing. Now you don't have to fold it over, you can always just put it on the way it is. That's our wing. Now you can have this as long or short as you like. I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Sort of way the tips coming into the maybe the first black bar on the tail. 
something like that. Give yourself some sort of measurement. Just hold it on top. Come in with a pinching loop. Get a couple of turns just to see what way we're what way we're sitting. I ain't happy with that, so I'm just gonna come back. Just run it through my fingers again. Just come back in. Same again, get your your measurement. Come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns. See what way we're sitting. Nah, that's a job there. So at this point I'm happy enough for the wing, so I'm just going to come in, lift the excess of the bronze mallard, clip that away. Nah, I'm just going to come in with a wee drop of wax. Nah, because we have a haggle at the front. I'm just going to need all the grip that we can get. I'm just going to bring the thread to the eye. And then build our thread up over the cut ends of the bronze mallard. Any excess wax, just wipe that away. I'm just going to come in and get one of the smaller haggles from the, the bottom of the cape. I'll just stroke back the, the fibers to reveal the tip. Now if you've got a, a, a hand haggle, you get a nice long hand haggle on here at the front. Just break away the tip. Just come in with my scissors. Just to, just to start it for me. And then we're just going to put on two or three turns at the front of the, the Clard Bodger. Just going to put another one on. Now it's going to do me there. So I'm just going to follow this around with my thread. Turn to hold. Another two turns to secure. I'm going to fold the stem back. And then just work my thread back up over the stem of the haggle. Just keeping your thread tight at this point. You don't want to let it go loose. Everything will just unravel. Keeping your thread tight. Break away the stem of the haggle. Then we're just going to come in with our whip finishing tool and just throw on a whip finish. Put your thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your tan thread. Right, that's the wee fly there. Just going to bring this up back. I'm just going to come in, we drop of super glue onto the head. Don't like to use super glue, guys, just use the uh, varnish. That's right the whole way right round. And then once that dries, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish to seal the head up. Now, you want to tie the original pattern, just do everything the same, only put on a straight through uh, claret haggle, cock or hen haggle for the body. You can even have it a wee bit of a darker claret. And then the same at the head, maybe a nice long uh, claret hen haggle at the head. But there you go, that's the the Irish Mons Claret. So you can tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the wee channel grow. And until next time guys, please stay safe and take lanes.